before we start, do you have insurance? What? Your coverage good? Like, do you have dental? Oh, haha. -ha. Is there a hospital nearby? Is it, like, too far? Yeah, about, like, 25 minutes, I'd say. <laughs> I just slapped you. Are you all right? What? <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Gamer Gramps here. Today we're talking about the Civ 6 Challenge of the Month. More specifically, this badass strategy I came up with where I was gonna absolutely stomp Simp and Cyrish. <laughs> Where I was gonna absolutely stomp Simpin Cyrus and crush his Valentine's Day dream forever. I know, that sounds awesome, right? Me telling you about my strategy, me showing you how easy it was to crush Cyrus with it, how could it go wrong? I mean, the challenge itself is only on Emperor. There's no DD level version of it. Well, it did. It went horribly wrong. The good news is it gave me some Civ 6 challenge ideas that you can try for yourself. Or just let me know in the comments what you think about them and what you want to see me try. I mean, a shit idea is a shit idea, so don't hold back. I got my big boy pants on. Sit back for a minute and relax. We're gonna take a time warp together, back a few days, hear a funny little story about me rage quitting Civ 6 and being so pissed off I couldn't bring myself to even fucking touch the challenge of the month again for a few days. I needed to cool down that bad. It all started with me wanting to stay true to Tamiris and stick with the pure cavalry force. I had what I thought was a bomb ass idea. I'd make two cities after my capital to get a huge army of cavalry out early and then level them up by attacking barbarians and nearby city states whose suzerain bonuses I thought were trash. Then, while I was busy clearing barb camps and leveling my troops nice and quick with a double combat experience from Kabul and earning great generals while I was doing it thanks to Wolin, I'd go ahead and park in perfect positions near the front lines to then settle cities that even if they loyalty flipped, I didn't care because I'd already have used Magnus to chop out a shitload of siege units right in Cyrus's face and by then my now boss mode cavalry horde would catch up just in time to wipe them off the map. I know, I know, sounds like a good plan. Hell, it sounds like a fun plan. Fuck, it was a fun plan. Alas, it was not to be. After having gotten excited about the idea and then actually executing it exactly how I intended and had the settlers ready to go in the spots I'd chosen, I nearly shit a brick. I went to settle and start chopping and found out the fucking found city button had just disappeared on me. It was gone from the game. After reloading that turn's autosave, you know, thinking something might have glitched, only to find out that the problem was still there, it hit me. Yeah, that's right. An insurmountable amount of absolutely white hot unbridled rage, but also the fact that this was intentionally done by the developers at Firaxis. Yeah, I accurately saved my game file so that I could show proof of said genius and rage quit the game instantly. I mean, fuck that. I'm done. I'm out. I just wasted two hours being all excited and giddy about my strategy and getting revved up even more when it's playing out just like I wanted, only to have my soul absolutely crushed intentionally. Not to mention having completely wasted the time doing it, because if I'd known that ahead of time, I'd just easily accounted for it and planned accordingly. A quick side note, if you're a Firaxis developer watching this, don't give warning ahead of time. It would ruin the surprise. And after having a couple days to calm my bitch ass down and accept it for what it was, I was ready to get back in the settle. This time, I'd be smarter. This time, I would do it differently. So I loaded up a save file I had from turn 7 because I decided I was just going to build a shitload of scouts and look at the map so I didn't waste any more time with nonsense. I was going to come up with some new ideas and I was going to beat this damned challenge as absolutely fast as I could. I mean, I wanted to have this shit planned from turn 1. Where was I going with my warrior? Where were the goody houts so my scouts could head in the best direction? I wanted to know it all. I wanted to plan for an attempt essentially to recreate my idea with cavalry only, but then also come up with a plan for a fast win using melee and ranged troops too. 
So while I was putting these plans together, I had an idea hit me. The light bulb turned on. I should make another strategy that probably wasn't going to be optimal, but sounded fun as fuck to play just to do something totally different. And that's when I decided to go for the third attempt of faith-based domination. So sweet, I'm all set now. I got my three plans figured out, and I think it's going to be great to have a bit of variety, and I think you're going to like it. I'm all set to restart the game and make my first attempt, right? Wrong. When I restarted the game, they got me again. This wasn't where I spawned the first time. Okay, okay, calm down, no big deal. I'll load back my old save file, take a quick look at the terrain to just replan my original routes for scouting, and I'm all good. That's when I finally caught on and figured it out though. This wasn't just a different spawn on the same map. It was a different map altogether. Truth be told, it really didn't bother me this much. At this point, I thought it was cool that there were two different versions of the map. But I still wanted to do the speedrun competition between my three strategies, so I started pumping out scouts again to learn the new maps and outs. Rest in peace to all the scouts who heroically gave their lives to get me the information I needed to plan my strategies. And also, let's take a moment to reflect on how much of an asshole I am for trying to get these two scouts killed by the tornado just for shits and giggles. While you're taking your moment of silence, think about this last idea that just hit me while I was editing this video for you. What if I were to drop down to the lower difficulty challenge, friends, and try to beat the whole thing and win the game with the only military unit I'm allowed to build being scouts? And no cheesy bullshit either. Like me getting faith to buy units or using gold to buy troops for myself from the barbarians. I mean like I can't control any combat units at all other than scouts for the whole game. So let me know down in the comments what you're more interested in seeing and what has you excited. But be quick about it though, because the clock is ticking and this challenge disappears tomorrow. So I don't have lots of time left to work with. So rank them in order one to four so I can try to get as many done as possible between now and when it disappears. So that being said, I'm just going to shut up now and I'll see you in the next video.